Hello and welcome to our video. This video is about an Arduino piano we made uh, using Arduino. This piano is actually a special type as a capacitive keys piano. What's happening here is when we press these keys with our finger, it makes a sound. And that's a capacitive piano. Now, how does this work? Well, pin 2 here, this black one, is our, uh, defined as the receive pin. And 3 to 9 are these yellow ones that are the sent, uh, the sent key, uh, keys. And between these, we have one mega ohm resistor uh, attached here. And the sent keys are attached to our aluminum foils, which are connected using this uh, very narrow gauge wire with, uh, I mean, glued with uh, hard glue. Now, this entire setup behaves as a capacitor. Since we know a capacitor has two uh, conductors, and uh, here, yellow wire is acting as an, one conductor, these keys are acting as another conductor and between we have resistor acting as dielectric. So the higher the distance between the two conductors in a capacitor, the lower the capacitance we need. Now we can't do that here because uh, we gotta we gotta make an entire big project, right? So we use a higher value of resistance, which is our one mega ohm, so that we can lower the capacitance we need to trigger the circuit. We have increased resistance, so capacitive is low here, and uh, this way we can use the aluminum foil uh, for the smaller capacitance. Now, before using the aluminum coil, we were using uh, hand-drawn uh, graphite, graphite keys, uh, hand-drawn pencil keys. <laughs> hand-drawn, well, how do I say it? <laughs> anyway, so hand-drawn uh, keyboard keys using uh, pencil graphite, and the layer of that graphite works as a good conductor. And uh, that works good with this, uh, with this uh, circuit, uh, circuitry here. But the problem is the graphite pencil has a powdered uh, layer of, I mean, graphite pencil makes only a powdered layer, which is not that stable. Hence, we are using our aluminum foil, uh, foil here. Now, how does this, uh, what can we use this uh, circuit in real world for? Well, if you've been to Walmart, you might have seen these toys where you just uh, press a finger of a plush toy, it makes a sound or it reacts. How it's working? Nowadays they are not using the buttons anymore because it's too mechanic mechanical and it's too, too costly. So they are using a capacitive sensor there. And this capacitive sensor could be anything, just a foil made from aluminum or copper. You press it, the circuitry recognizes uh, that something is being touched there and then it plays the music. Now the very higher version of this, very advanced version of this is already in your, uh, in your cell phone screens, your LCD touch screen and it's a very highly uh, advanced version because they're using a matrix pattern here to recognize exactly what point your finger is pressing and you can use that uh, to control your device. So that's it for our project, hope you liked it and uh, please like, don't subscribe because I'm not sure we're going to put another video and Merry Christmas.